which, you know, ooh, that's really original, but at least you can find me on the web. Anyways, today what we're going to do is something really simple, and, you know, you kids, if you're kids out there and you want to do something this summer, you can do this. It's pain-free, and it's delicious. So what we're going to do is flan. It's a custard with a caramel um, coating on it. It's, it's easy, and uh, you can do all kinds of things with it. Today, uh, we're going to make a little Grand Marnier custard. And uh, if you don't know what that is, that's an orange flavored liqueur. And if you don't have that, you could throw maybe a pinch of rum in there. You've got to be 21, right? And then you have to, <laughs> and then uh, you can make it out of coconut milk. So it's a, a real tasty dessert. Before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I used to teach um, junior high kids. So, you know, if any of you are in that age range, you might be able to figure me out a lot better than any adults out there. I have some help. My helper uh, and producer of the show is Glenn. Wait a minute, Glenn. We're gonna make sure. We're gonna make sure to protect your your um, identity. This is Glenn. Are you just gonna, How old are you, Glenn? I'm 18. Oh, this he's 18. Fun. Okay, so then you can see Glenn. So Glenn is my neighbor. He's an art student, and uh, he's gonna help me produce the show. So who knows? I might be a complete fla failure, but you know, Glenn is gonna be a rising star. So thank you, Glenn. Thank you. All right, what we're going to start with is opening up this condensed milk. Now, I don't know if I can show labels, but I know condensed milk is out there in Borden or Nestle has it, and um, it's condensed milk. It's not evaporated milk, because evaporated milk is a whole different thing. This is really sweet. It's been boiled down to with lots of sugar. I used to eat it with a spoon as a kid, the whole can, and yeah, and I can still do that, but I try not to. So you take the can of condensed milk. See how creamy that is? Let me get that on the camera. Creamy and sweet. Okay. Then, and believe it or not, I'm using a recipe. Use a recipe. How do you know what to put in there? And when it comes to baking, it's very important that you get it right. So with this flan, I need four eggs and a cup and three quarters water. So what we got is the condensed milk here, and we've got a cup and three quarters water, okay, and then it asks for a teaspoon of vanilla, me, this is me, boop, dollop, it's always good. Okay, and four eggs, get it all in there, not too difficult. Now, if it was Easter, I'd be blowing these eggs. Do you know what that means? I tap a little hole here and the other one at the end and strain it through so that we could later fill it with confetti and then crack it over your head. So that's what I'd be doing in the spring, but not this time. That will be for another episode. So, okay. Now, you could do it with the spatula as I have here. You could have a handy whisk. Don't go out buying yourself a whole bunch of gadgetry. A fork would do just as well. We're going to mix this all up, and the consistency is going to be like, um, um, I don't know, just a little bit thicker than milk, to tell you the truth, so you don't have to worry about it. Anyways, while I'm mixing this, let me tell you, I, I live here in Phoenix, Arizona, and it is getting hot outside. We had 109 degrees yesterday, and right now we're having a crazy storm, and it's 72 degrees outside. So. You know, sometimes you just never know what's going to happen here in the Valley of the Sun. So, okay, we're getting this whipped up. It's beautiful. And let me take a minute, and we're going to fade out in, and watch some caramel melt in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back, and the sugar has finally melted. It's slowly melting. Come on in, Glenn. And you'll see that it's gotten real brown. In fact, it could be burnt for all I know right now. But you see it's dissolving. It's turned real dark brown. And the last time I tried this, I walked away, 
It started on fire. There was full flames going on. And the fire department did show up at my door. And they said, Lisa, are you cooking again? So I had to, you know, give them a cookie and send them on their way. Thank goodness that they're there, though. And it makes a terrible smoke. You have to be real careful. Turn everything off. Do not throw water on it. But uh, turn it all off and cover it with a lid. That will be very helpful. All right, so let's pretend that this is completely melted. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting there. And it's brown. And it's, what you would do is you'd add uh, cream and it'd make caramel for ice cream. It'd be absolutely the greatest. Okay, we're going to go over here. I have a Pyrex pie pan. Okay, that's good. You don't have it? Use a cake pan. That's okay. And ultimately, this is called a flan pan so, or a plate. So you don't have to use all those fancy things. Just do with what you've got. And you pour it in the Pyrex. Doesn't mean it doesn't have to be all smooth because what happens is that the sugar dissolves and it becomes a real light sauce. So you just need to make sure that it's in there. Okay, now this needs to be in something hot to place your counter. Put water in it, it'll dissolve, it'll be great. No problem cleaning it up. Okay, now we have this custard. It's sweet, it's creamy, and look at the consistency, real thin, okay? Eggs are all mixed in, and let's not forget the liqueur. This is a orange flavored liqueur. Again, I mentioned, if I could open it, that um, baking is a science, because you have things that have to rise and so forth. But uh, this little item here isn't so much so. So you just want to dab, dab you do ya, and pour it in there. The recipe does ask for an eighth of a teaspoon salt, so we'll do that real quick. Try not to get anything wrong. Okay, that looks like an eighth to me. Here we go. Pour it in slowly so it doesn't splatter back. Get it all in there. Great. Now, let me do this. Come this way, Glenn. Try not to get the whole back side of me. What you're going to do now is put it in a pan with a little bit of water. The reason you put water in there is so that it doesn't dry out and crack. You want the whole thing to stay creamy and moist. And that's going to bake for 55 minutes to 60 minutes. Now look at this. Voila. The magic of a camera. We have a finished product here. It's gorgeous. See how it's settled? It's gelled. You can see the caramel, how it's melted underneath and it's spread out. I did the exact same thing. So let me show you how you unplate this because it's real messy. Give it an edge. Be better if you let it just cool in the refrigerator. But this will work. Look at the caramel oozing out from underneath. Ooh. Okay. Here's the messy part. You're going to have to flip it over. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? You ready, Glenn? Ready. Okay. <laughs> it's going to go all over. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> well, you know, you got to be a little quicker. But it's still good. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Watch for me again. Lisa's cooking. Bye now.